Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to hit the like button, share the video, leave a comment, um, subscribe if you haven't. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Today is September 30th, 2024. Beautiful out today. It's pretty breezy today. It's supposed to be pretty warm again today. We've had some actually really hot weather. It's been in the mid 80s. That's supposed to change this coming week now. So more fall fall like temperatures i think highs in the 60s but what we're going to do today we're going to hopefully start chopping some corn we're not going to be into it full bore yet today i don't think but we'll try to get a couple loads in i'm up in the pasture right now at this little uh silo here um me and paul got this ready yesterday unloader is raised up uh we got one of the old gale long hopper high throw blowers on here I've got two of these. I'm going to set one up at the other silo. <clears throat> so when this one gets full, we can go to that silo and we can come back to this one after it settles for a day or so and we don't have to swap blowers back and forth. Um, so when <clears throat> Paul's going to get off work early today, it sounded like we're going to try to get the unloader in the silo by the barn raised up. So then that silo will be ready to go. But while I'm waiting for him, I figured I could get get the chopper try that out make sure that's all working get some of the fields opened up a little um, since we have a place to put it now i uh, thought i'd talk a little bit about this silo in the pasture since we always get some comments on this uh, kind of what's the story with it why is it way up here by itself you know was there a barn here at one time or what's the deal with it um, there was never a barn here my great grandpa had this silo built i don't exactly know what year um probably late 50s early 60s something like that and originally um it did not have a roof on it i had the roof put on and then i had it relined probably 12 years ago the dimensions it's 14 foot diameter it's 25 feet tall and it had this concrete feed bunk out here and this used to have oak not head locks but just boards for them just head boards and it kind of goes on both sides of the silo and i've used it some i actually put the wire around it and it works all right it's you got to hand feed it it's no automatic feeder but there's no concrete apron out for the cattle to stand on at all so it uh gets really muddy if it's wet and it gets to be can be a real mess here so i don't know i've kind of quit using it we've got the conveyor set up there so we can pull the feeder wagon around and and just fill that I have contemplated about just ripping this completely out and building a little building or something right there where you could come in from the with the skid steer and load out of but yeah so this is all that was here there was never a barn or anything here uh, my grandpa said years ago before they had an unloader in the silo and they used to just pitch it out by hand and it didn't have a roof on it they would fill it up and then they would put a one round of the old wooden snow fence around the top and then they would fill it up to the top of that so then when it settled then it would be it would be completely full because it would settle about that amount that was on the snow fence so that's kind of something something neat but the way i used it they used to fill it and then i think it didn't sit too long and they were feeding sometimes this will sit all winter for me and that's why i put a roof on it just to keep that spoilage down and it's also a lot nicer for the unloader in there to keep that under cover but anyway i just wanted to kind of let you know what's going on with this silo talk about that and, and what we're doing i'm going to head up now with the chopper and see if i can get a load or maybe two loads chopped before paul gets here and uh, make sure the chopper and all that's working good chopped first load of the year it's not full i could get it a lot fuller but um 
I can't make another round on this big field, so I wouldn't even make it a quarter of the way around. So that's good enough, but man, it looks like it's chopping it up really nice. I don't know if I can reach any of that for you guys to show you, but you can see it when it's coming out otherwise. Yeah, that looks really nice. It's not getting all the kernels opened up, but it's uh, breaking quite a few of them. So that's good. Feels like it's got good moisture. <clears throat> this field that I'm opening up, um, most of this field is going to be picked for ear corn, but I want to get the outside rows off of it. Then we're going to head in the back. I got a couple small fields. Uh, those I don't think are very good. I think the ears are probably all right, but the corn was real short. I don't think there's going to be a lot of tonnage there, but I'm just opening this up because we got to go around the edge of this to get wagons out of the back. And it, uh, take a couple rows off to get me away from the woods so I'm gonna go and uh, fill up this other wagon and then we'll head back and uh, maybe we'll get these unloaded There we go, we finished load number four. Um, we're back on one of those poorer fields now. This corn here is not too bad, but there's some spots um, where it's really bad. I haven't even looked at the ears on this. This was the first corn I planted. It was, I think, a 93 day. It does have some ears on it. Not real big, but they're uh, the full out to the end. Oh, it should make some decent silage. It's a little bit drier maybe than I would like, but it's going on the bottom of the silo too, so and that won't really hurt anything. I think some of this froze. I think that's why it's it's looking a little dry, but um, it is what it is. This is just a small, this field's only about three acres, and then the other one in the back, I think six or seven. I think that's about similar looking to this same corn um, but those you know if they're a little drier it doesn't pay to chop 10 acres and then have to wait for everything else to dry down I do have one other field that was a later day corn some of that froze too so part of that field is going to be really ripe or really dry and some of it's going to be pretty green but that should blend in good so uh, yeah and the chopper chopper seems to be working really good that chain I put that new chain on the roller feed and uh, in there and fixed that that tensioner bar. I've been places I've been kind of stuffing purposely stuffing some corn in it pretty hard and uh, seems to be handling it no problem so it's not jumping like it was last year. I imagine eventually I'll have to get new sprockets for that but for now it seems to be working good so Anyway, I'm just waiting for Paul to come and get me. We'll get that other load out of here and get that uh, get that up in the silo. And uh, so we'll go back and get some video of that.
everybody welcome back it's october 2nd we're on day three of chopping i haven't been taking a lot of video just because this corn up in these back fields is pretty short corn and these fields are really small so you get a lot of end time it takes me a long time to get a load so i haven't been messing around with resetting the camera and doing all that kind of stuff um, so these first few days of chopping probably not going to do a lot of video once we get into the closer to home bigger fields with better corn i'll have a little more ability to do that um, this corn here is starting to get a little dry but um, it's actually i just broke a couple stalks off to see a lot of moisture in the stalks yet so and the kernels um, actually break down pretty good with your thumb you take your nail and and crack them open pretty easy yet so it is got a lot more moisture in it than what it looks like but this is some of the driest stuff i have they're talking frost maybe tomorrow night so um, i want to try to get this stuff done since this is the driest it's going in the bottom of the silos so that uh that'll be good get that in the bottom we can put heavier stuff on top wetter stuff and uh, pack it down good i don't think that's going to hurt anything a lot of grain in it it's short corn but the ears it's actually got pretty decent ears i had contemplated picking this back here but such a small field and a lot of turning around trees all over it's hard to maneuver around with that big picker so anyway that's what's going on we're still still chopping away we got four loads yesterday i'm hoping to get at least that much today and i haven't climbed that little silo yet it's probably starting to get up there or we're gonna have to keep an eye on it a little bit but um, they've been pretty big loads i've been filling them up i just thought i'd show you quick here's one of those holes those washouts that's uh something you wouldn't want to run into in the dark it's not a super big hole i mean a skid steer bucket of dirt will fill it but if you catch one of these in the middle of the field you don't know it's there you know it's about probably two and a half feet deep two and a half feet across probably <clears throat> that could ruin your day in a hurry if you hit one of them just chopping along warm up there shoveling it off level um 
I'm glad I climbed up. It's, pretty, it's full, completely full right now. Um, the load we were just running up there, I think that was load number nine going into here. But they've been, they've actually been really full loads. So, and it'll take a little bit more. This wagon's not quite empty. But uh, I don't know, it might take another load. We'll see how much it settles. I wanted to get some of that greener stuff on here, but it filled up faster than I figured. So we'll see if it'll take more tomorrow. Maybe I'll chop a load of that greener stuff and, and get on top to pack it down. But anyway, we are going to uh, run up and get the other silo ready, get that unloader raised and stuff so we can get over to that one. So uh, probably gonna end this video here. So I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you in the next one.